something that a lot of apps are doing now, eh, Realm Obsidian, a lot of these um, knowledge apps, these note-taking apps are doing now is your daily note. And they say, just dump everything in your daily note. It's like the best big thing you ever need to do. And I don't think so. And I'm gonna show you what I do instead with my daily notes. Because it's different than what some people do. Buckle up. Here we are in Obsidian, and this is, uh, I'm on version 074 because I'm on the Insider's build. And the, one of the things you need to do with daily notes here is turn them on. So you need to go into your plugins and turn on daily notes, which I've done. And then I've actually assigned a keyboard shortcut to create a new one at Shift Command O. Uh, and you do that under keyboard shortcut hotkeys uh, daily. Oh, that's right, there's a search now. Nope. Uh, new. There's one in here, trust me. Shift Command O. That's what I've done. This is like opening, open today's note. There you go. Shift Command O. So I'm just going to show you an old one. Uh, it says, I have no title for it. This is from 612, so the 12th of June. And what it started out with was actually not this top bit. It started out with just the bottom, deploying Statimic V3. Because I was researching how to deploy Statimic version 3 to my site, because I upgraded that uh, to version 3 a couple weeks ago. Um, and then I started taking notes on Statimic and on Composer, because I had to learn some Composer and the Static Migrator plugin, um, and right the different bugs I hit, right? Because um, the Composer hit is a RAM glutton, and here's the command you need and a whole bunch of stuff, right? And here's a post from Duncan, who helped me in the Statimic uh, channel, Discord channel. Um, and again, more from Duncan, and here's some more stuff to do, right? And you need to actually run these other things here uh, in your deploy script on Forge. And I just basically took a catalog of what I learned that day um, as I went through and kind of put in headings and put in, um, we can see wiki links near the top to Composer and to Statimic and to the Static Migrator. And then here's the big thing I did. Let's open up Safari. And let's go to CP. This will be Statimic you get to see. Or my Statimic dashboard. And we'll autofill. And you can go into my collections to posts. Statimic is pretty. V3 is really pretty. And then we're looking for migrated to Statimic V3, I think. Yep. So then what I did is I just mostly copied and pasted it into a blog post. Um, because I should probably put this under work journal as well. Work journal. Um, and why did I do this? So I did this because at some point I need to continue to show clients, show anyone the work I'm doing, showing that I can do good work, that I know what I'm talking about, that I need to come up with search engines for it, stuff like that. And so I put this in, right? You may, right? I basically, what you saw in my daily note, once I had kind of written the whole thing out or had all my notes in point form, um, I went back and through and put this little bit of a header in. And I cleaned it up just a little bit to make it um, read better for someone who wasn't in the midst of research mode. I actually even left in some of my um, wiki links because I'm going to try and get wiki links working on my CMS just by default. So I left them in. I added some tagging right over here, Statimic, Statimic v3, deploy Statimic Forge, so that I can hopefully come up in search engines for some of these terms long term. So this is really a long term content play is what it is for me to say, hey, look, maybe I can do. Um, maybe I'll come up in search engines as a developer for things. So another one I did was should you refactor old uh, CSS, SCSS or Nuke and Pave? And I actually wrote like, here's my thoughts on it. And I here's some of the research that I had done. Right. And I cataloged the research structure for SAS projects. Uh, and actually wrote like, here's how to structure SAS projects properly. Um, yeah, I did that. And what else have I done? I've done 
right, work journal, stopping two calls in short order for the same data to an external API. Again, nerdy stuff and WordPress and transients. That's what I really went in. So I'm writing these so that I can, in theory, get more work long term. Uh, and that's why I'm using them. I am not using them as like, hey, what do I just do this day and just tag everything into it? Because I really don't think that when you get to your knowledge graph, that daily notes are useful at all. Like, I think that they are just going to clutter up, right? This is already a fairly cluttered view. So if every note in here collected to some random day, like, does it matter that I learned whatever this was on uh, 20, like the 25th of June, uh, whatever the fifth month is <laughs> before June, May? It doesn't matter. Um, that like, after like a week or two, there is no bearing on like day has no bearing, right? Or this the 20th, like, it just doesn't have any bearing on um, what I've learned or anything like that. It just it doesn't matter at all. So I'm not gonna be doing daily notes, like everyone says, where you just like catalog everything you did in day and link out to things that seems like that data is absolutely useless to me long term. And I won't keep it. That's how I'm using daily notes. If you like the video, you can give me a thumbs up below. If you loved it, you can go and subscribe and hit the bell so that YouTube lets you know when things come. But make sure you turn your device notifications off so you can go do your own thing. And if you really, really, really loved it, you can go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale and support the channel. Have an excellent day.